Hi everyone, it's August 14, 2018. I came across this video posted on Mr. MBB333's channel. Never seen anything like it. Freak storm takes thousands by surprise. And off power grid, apparently 28,000 were without power in Nevada. Freak storm. Here he plays this video. And the news reporters are interviewing this guy from Nevada Energy, NV Energy. And he's talking about how, no, never seen anything like it. And never has this man experienced so many freak storms happening over and over and over again. It's really unfortunate that there are so many channels that post on all of these strange happenings, strange events taking place, extreme weather events, and they don't seem to talk much about weather modification, geoengineering, and the technology that exists to create these freak storms. The lightning was quite intense. I'll show it to you. And Amazing sights in Las Vegas. The storm caused extremely low visibility, flying debris and thousands of outages. Dust blew through the city and there was an impressive lightning show to go with it. Take a look at that. That lightning looks fake. It looks like something out of a movie <laughs> somebody, when you're seeing it. Somebody drew it in, right? It's it crazy to look at. It's, I, it's so cool somebody <laughs> caught that on video. It's city of lights, right? City light. That's little, right. A little extra light. A little extra light. Yeah, it very nice. Looks I, I think lightning is wow. it, It's cool to look at, okay? That's about it. <laughs> That's right. How many of you have been seeing lightning? especially in clouds and lightning that just lights up the entire sky. You don't actually see the streak of lightning. You just see this kind of pulsating light and it goes on for hours. You don't have any thunder. You don't have any rain. You just have these clouds that are producing, well, lightning. The clouds light up. All right. There are many ways in which they can create lightning. Army demonstrates a weapon that shoots laser-guided lightning bolts. A device that shoots lightning bolts along a laser beam to annihilate its target. It's a laser-induced plasma channel. It uses a laser to carve an electromagnetic path through the air that accommodates a high-voltage beam. Create the path, crank up the voltage, and your target is toast. I hate how much we are a killing machine this country. It works like this. High intensity, super short duration laser pulse will actually use air like lenses. Surrounding air focuses the beam. The surrounding air focuses the beam. Keeping the laser pulse nice and tight rather than scattering it, if the pulse is strong enough it actually creates an electromagnetic field around itself that's so powerful it strips electrons from air molecules, essentially creating a channel, a channel of plasma through the air. Since air is composed of neutral particles that act as insulators, insulators to that insulate the negative from positive uh, uh, particles, charges. When it's insulated, you don't see lightning. But when those negative and positive charges collide, that's what produces lightning. So, the air is composed of neutral particles and the plasma channel is a good conductor relative to the unionized air around it, 
Well, our atmosphere is now ionized. So the path of the laser beam becomes a kind of filament. Just as lightning arcs from cloud to ground via the path of least resistance, a high voltage current will find its way down this filament rather than arcing unpredictably through the air. The laser just creates the path of least resistance between the power source and the target. Laser, lightning, destruction of target in that order. Hey, great, huh? Lightning laser weapon developed by U.S. Army. The lead scientist, George Fisher. This is what he said. We never got tired of the lightning bolts zapping our simulated targets. We never get tired of shooting our bullets and zapping people with lightning bolts. bolts. Or homes or something. Uh, he explained how the unusually unpredictable lightning bolts can be controlled. If a laser puts out a pulse with modest energy, but the time is incredibly tiny, the power can be huge. During the duration of the laser pulse, it can be putting out more power than a large city needs. But the pulse only lasts for two trillionths of a second speed of light. And I've heard from people who say there's no such thing as speed of light. Okay. Um, well, there is some great speed. <laughs> the air could be manipulated to act like a lens. They have completely and utterly transformed our atmosphere. So a 50 billion watts of optical power, that's what this laser uses. A laser beam is intense enough, if it's intense enough, its electromagnetic field is strong enough to rip electrons off of air molecules creating plasma. The plasma is located along the path of the laser beam so we can direct it wherever we want by moving a mirror. By moving a mirror. Forest fires. Well, I do want to also just bring your attention to other ways in which they can create lightning. Here, they're talking about creating artificial clouds by injecting ions into the atmosphere. So you can read about how they can make artificial rain from artificial clouds. And what they're doing is injecting these ions into the atmosphere. They hit them with electricity. As long as they have at least 30 percent humidity, voila, clouds form. But the reason why I wanted to bring this to your attention is, well, these clouds begin to rain as the temperature starts to cool down. And I have posted videos on watching them make these clouds. They turn into thunder clouds and they can actually then... They, see, all of this takes place over your head. You can watch the cloud making and then you can watch it turn gray. And then you can watch it begin to move. It's fascinating. But how they're using this technology 
Well, that's not too fascinating because they are using it as a weapon. So, resulting rain will be combined with thunder and lightning as the charged particles act as giant electrodes in the sky across which the lightning discharges. Kurt Vonnegut's brother was involved in creating artificial clouds. Experiments were carried out in New Mexico to determine whether the electrification process processes that lead to the formation of lightning and clouds are influenced by the polarity of the charges in the air from which the clouds grow. Guess what? Those experiments, they were able to produce lightning. So, another uh, document. How about a recommended national program in weather modification? This is what it says. They're able to reduce the frequency of fire producing lightning strokes. Wow. But effects on hail production have been noted. Sometimes suppression, sometimes augmentation. Wow. Augmentation of hell? Colorado. Uh, Colorado, just with recently, th this past week, had softball sized hail and it killed three zoo animals, injured 14 people, and damaged 400 cars. Augmentation of hail. Isn't it great? But I also want to bring your attention to, oh, the studies of lightning characteristics, the type of lightning discharge most likely to ignite forest fires have been identified in 1980, uh, 1966. They were on it. So if they can create lightning and they know what kind of lightning is likely to ignite a forest fire? And we've got, I just saw an article, 100 forest fires going in the United States right now. Well, you have to wonder, right? Weather modification is generally considered to be the deliberate effort to improve atmospheric conditions for beneficial human purposes, you know, to reduce economic losses, property damages, and deaths through mitigation of adverse effects of hail, lightning, fog, and severe storms. Hey, they knew how to do this decades ago. Why aren't they doing it? Well, let's read on. Not all weather modification activities, however, have been or can be designed to benefit everyone, and some intentional operations have been used as a weapon of war. And inadvertently, they can create environmental change unintentionally, without any purpose at all, when you are modifying the weather. Well, it has inadvertent effects. You cause drought in one area, you can cause flooding in another area. But here, these inadvertent effects, they affect the climate. Oh, climate change. Right. It's because we breathe and cows fart, and we drive cars. Has nothing to do 
with the weather, weather modification that is taking place. Nope, not at all. Weather modification programs, problems, policy, potential. 1978, prepared at the request of the chairman of the Committee on Commerce, Science, and Transportation, the United States Senate. What does this say? Oh, lightning modification. Most research efforts are being conducted to develop techniques to lessen the occurrence or hazards associated with lightning. But there could be offensive military benefits. Yeah, we have to do research on lightning to increase the potential and the intensity of lightning. We have to explore increasing the basic efficiency of the thunderstorm, stimulating the triggering mechanism that initiates the bolt and triggering lightning. We've got to modify the electropotential characteristics over certain targets to induce lightning strikes on the desired targets as the storm passes over their location. Oh, really? When was this? 1978? And the good old weather as a force multiplier. Owning the weather in 2025. A research paper presented to our Air Force. What do they say there? Oh, nanotechnology. Hmm. Well, nanotechnology to create simulated weather, clouds, several clouds, microscopic computer particles all communicating with each other, and with a larger control system. Well, that could provide tremendous capability and they're already using it. That's why I've said in a lot of my videos, if you just observe your clouds long enough, you will begin to see how they don't move. Yes, they morph into all uh, bizarre shapes or defined right angles, but you will also begin to see how they literally move either one or both move together to make one cloud, to make a larger control system interconnected, atmospherically buoyant, and having navigation capability in three dimensions. Such clouds could be designed to have a wide range of properties. They could exclusively block optical sensors that could be impermeable to other surveillance methods. Methods. They could also provide an atmospheric electrical potential difference. That's why you see these huge clouds and they're lightning clouds. They can also achieve precisely aimed and timed lightning strikes. And wow, what potential for psychological operations. It would be fantastic. A star you get Air Force, a star. I can't stand it. I can't stand how twisted so many humans are in our human race. Yes, the lightning, the freak storm, all of 
Right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and it made for some amazing sights in Las Vegas. The storm caused extremely low visibility, flying debris and thousands of outages. Dust blew through the city, and there was an impressive lightning show to go with it. Take a look at that. That lightning looks fake. It looks like something out of a movie when you're seeing it. Because it is It's fake. crazy to look it at. It's, it's Mother so cool Nature something. doing this. It's not Mother Nature doing this. It's not. I will link below to everything. Hope you have a good night.